This video will explore how to use Adobe Capture to create digital images from hand-drawn artwork. Adobe Capture allows us to capture images, colors, and patterns easily and transform them into vector shapes and assets ready for using in our designs. Whether you consider yourself an artist or not, you're about to see how Adobe Capture can convert even the simplest of sketches into impressive vector shapes. First, conduct research to help better fine-tune what you might like to draw. Create a Google Doc to help organize this research. The Google Doc should include your name, block, and the current marking period. Title the document your last name, images to vectorize. Research images you might like to draw and collect at least 20 images you might be able to draw. Print out three or four of your favorite images and practice sketching them. You may want to put them on a single document to save paper when printing. Determine two you would like to create into a vectorized shape. Draw two final sketches, first with pencil, and then trace them with Sharpie. Make at least one of them a defined silhouette by filling it in with black. You can see I've drawn two deer, and the second one here I'll fill in with black to create a silhouette. Next, download Adobe Capture and install it on your device. You can find it in the App Store of Android and Apple phones very easily. Once you have it downloaded, we'll open Adobe Capture. Position your drawn picture outlined with marker in the camera frame and press the camera icon to photograph your drawing. You see you can make contrast adjustments if you need to before you take the picture. Activate the smoothing option by touching it. By default, smoothing will be set to off. Turn smoothing on to even out the rough edges of your shape. Touch Done to save your changes. Touch the three dots in the upper right for shape options and rename your shape to something easy to remember. Touch the Save Share icon in the lower left to save your images. You'll have the option to share, export, or save to the camera roll. Choose an option that will allow you to move the image to your computer the easiest. In this example, I chose Save to Camera Roll, and then with either AirDrop or Email, I'll move the shape to my computer. Here you can see the process again. Opening Adobe Capture, pressing the camera icon, photograph the drawing, make any contrast adjustments before taking the picture. Activate the smoothing option by touching it. Remembering that smoothing is default set to off. So turn smoothing on to even out the rough edges and touch done to save your changes. Touch the three dots in the upper right for the shape options and rename your shape to something easy to remember. Touch the Save Share icon in the lower left to save your images, and you'll have the option to share, export, or save to the camera roll. 
The next step is importing, and importing is where you bring your shape into Adobe Photoshop and or Illustrator. To do that, first just move your shape onto your computer using email or AirDrop. Once you have transferred your shape onto your computer, you're ready to create. In this example, we'll create a design in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator using a shape we created in Adobe Capture. Control click on your image and choose the program or application you'd like to open it in. I'll open this first one in Adobe Photoshop. You can see there's some unwanted shape at the top and along the side, so I'll erase or paint this away. To do this, I can hold the shift key to help better regulate the removal with a straight line. I'll get this up here, holding the shift key. Next, I'll create a fresh or new canvas to work in and dimension that new canvas to 12 inches by 12 inches. And here I have a resolution of 150. Before moving the deer shape to the new canvas, I delete the white background using the magic eraser. Once I've done this, the gray checkered background tells me the erase has been successful. I'll create a view so I can see both windows and then use the move tool to drag the shape into the new canvas. You can see that the image comes in at a nice large size, so I will use free transform to resize the deer shape to make it smaller and to better accommodate the design I have in mind. The final design might be used to create a poster print, vinyl decal, screen print, a t-shirt, or even embroider. The next deer shape I'll import into Illustrator. My first step here will be to create a document that is four and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. I chose this size because it is exactly one quarter of the size of a standard sheet of standard letter size paper that measures eight and a half by 11 inches. If we sliced an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper into quarters, its size would be four and a quarter by five and a quarter inches. And we'll use these dimensions of four and a quarter by five and a half later to create notepad designs. So for this design, I'll do just that. I'll import the shape and place it as if I were creating a notepad. In a notepad design, we want to keep a fair amount of empty area in order to have room for some space to write things. We'll talk more about creating a notepad later. But you'll get the general idea when you see how this final design is completed. So you import the shape, I click on File and then Place. I choose the shape and then click Place. Draw the size in which you would like the shape to be imported. And I'll just place this in the bottom right hand corner. Next, I'll add some text to the top of the notepad design, something that indicates where this note came from. And here you can see the finished notepad design using our shape created first by hand and then with Adobe Capture. So you can see how Adobe Capture allows us to easily capture images, in this case hand-drawn artwork, and convert them into vectorized shapes that then can be used to create unique and original designs.